Hello and welcome to another edition of Myrtle's Rant. Um, this week uh, I've been thinking about what to rant about and then it was delivered right to me uh, through my phone as we got reports of more and more Dacha busts. Uh, they come in to us via our 24-hour victim support helpline, which is manned by Shaw down in Cape Town. They also come to us through our news feeds and through phone calls. And this week has really been back-to-back -back busts. I think that we've had one practically every single day. Now, in 2015, Julian and I visited Barcelona, and I am very, very grateful to be going back to Barcelona next week and to be having a bit of a break from the chaos in South Africa and learning more about Dachau private clubs, as we call them, or in Spain as cannabis social clubs. Uh, now, it just so happens that quite a number of these big busts involved uh, Dachau private clubs. Now we have never, since 2015, when we visited our first club in Barcelona and we came back with the idea to South Africa, we have never ever claimed that clubs can be compliant with any non-existent law. We have never said that clubs, forming a club, will offer you any protection. There are certainly basic guiding principles of best business practice that we always invite, invite people who are thinking of uh, joining a club, making a club, to consider. But one must remember, and as we published in our blog this week, Dhaka private clubs are not immune. Because remember, the police will lock up, rock up with no warrant. Uh, if they want to make a big show of it and get you into the local paper, they might rock up with anything from 10 to 20 police cars, 20 to 30 policemen and you will be overwhelmed so we advise uh, clubs to obviously have their their paperwork in order but certainly in no way do we advise the clubs to go to their local police station and tell them what they are going to be doing because with three of these clubs they had actually spoken to their local police and got the blessing from Whoever was in charge of that local police station, be it a general or a colonel or whatever uh, rank this person was. And then, you know, when you go into a police station and you chat very nicely to the colonel, he's going to be a very nice man. But next week he might leave his job and there might be a new colonel. And do you know about that? No, it's not going to be advertised in the local paper. As you know, from the bottom of my heart, I hate the South African police service. And I use that word properly in terms of hate. I, I do not have any feelings of warmness towards the South African Police Service in my heart. Because, of course, they have never investigated Julian's murder. But they want to send people to my farm to count my Dhaka plants. And they want to send people to Dhaka private clubs who are acting within the privacy judgment. Don't forget that. We have had many, many legal opinions that have assured us that a private member's club should be, and I say should, and I say it is, it should be within the par parameters of that privacy judgment of 2018. But the gap between what happens on the ground with the police and the hallowed halls of the Constitutional Court five years ago there's an enormous gap, a gap that we, we are really, really desperate to narrow, but it's not happening. Five years later, we're still fighting, still have to go to Vienna to try and get the international laws shifted at least just a little bit, going to Barcelona to learn about cannabis social clubs where they have the same system and they have the same toing and froing. They still have their clubs raided in many parts of Spain, but obviously mostly in Barcelona and Madrid. There are OG activists there who are still facing 25 years in jail. So despite the fact that we are reintroducing the trial of the plant this year, it's a slow process with the courts, that we're desperately trying to raise money in order to help the Hayes Club with their fundraising, in order to help Bernie Enova with her Labour Court appeal. Despite all of this, the police can still rock up at your door and do not think you are immune because you have a Dhaka private club. What you need to do is really know your rights. And if you have a cannabis private club, 
you really could do us what is our right and support us as the only organization in, in South Africa who has a victim support helpline. The only organization in South Africa has organized over 100 stays of prosecution. People who are in the queue behind me for the Pretoria High Court. So, as we know at Fields of Green for All, you can't have act activism without calls to action. And every piece of content should have a call to action. And that, my call to action for you today is to join up as a member of the Green Network. At the very least, it costs 49 Rand a month. And we know that lots of non-profits around the country have a monthly membership subscription. Um, and we hope that you do support lots of people who do good work out there. But if you have a relationship with the cannabis plant, you really do owe it to us to help us keep going. Because data and printing and uh, uh, costs to get our show out, costs to keep our newsletter running, that's just a drop in the ocean compared to the costs of litigation because we're forced to go back to court. And really, 49 rand a month, what can you buy for 49 rand? If you have a, a business relationship with the cannabis plant and you have a DACA private club, we have created a new payment system where you can support us for 420 rand a month. And quite frankly, that's less than a bag of weed. So... If you're trading cannabis out there under the table, keep it private. Support us by joining up as a club. And if you have a cannabis business, where, whether it be directly in touch with the plant or whether it be um, in a support industry, we uh, really do implore you, implore you to uh, sign up as a, a full affiliate. That is $9.95 a month or you get two months free if you sign up for an annual membership. We have the most amazing people at the forefront of the cannabis industry as our affiliates. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you to all of them. I'd like to make a particular mention of our three platinum affiliates, hydroponic.co.za. We love you guys. Thank you so much for your video that we featured on the show last year, last uh, week. Um, uh, thank you to Gareth and Megan and your family uh, for the amazing platinum support over the, over the years. We'd also like to thank BioLeaf Technologies and Dankpack for sponsoring our trip down to the Cape Town Expo at the end of the month. We know that the Expo doesn't come cheap. We do get a free stall, but we still need to get our crew down there. We still need to stay somewhere. We still need to hire a car so that we can get around. So thank you to our beloved Platinum, Platinum Affiliates. And thank you very much to all of our affiliate companies. And it's so, so sorry for the dogs. But as soon as we start filming, they want to speak too. So thank you for watching Myrtle's Rant. And I'll see you again next week.